World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Excess Number of Teeth Hyperdontia In general, human beings have two types of dentition. He first occurs as our children. Milk teeth are temporary and later replaced by permanent adult teeth. The number of total teeth varies depending upon whether it pertains to an adult or a child. In temporary dentition, the number of teeth is 20 while for the adult dentition, it is 32. If you have fewer teeth, it is called anodontia, but if you have more teeth, it's called hyperdontia. Professionals call them supernumerary. Welcome to another informative video from Channel Islands Family Dental. Today we will talk about excess teeth or hyperdontia. Hyperdontia is an anomaly characterized by the development of one or more additional teeth. These additional or supernumerary teeth can appear anywhere in the mouth. However, it is more common to find them in the dental arch. According to their location, they are classified as follows. Mesiodens, a tooth that forms between the central incisors. Distomolar, these teeth grow behind the molars. Paramolar, this tooth grows alongside the molars outside of the dental arches. Natal tooth, these teeth present at birth or shortly after birth. The supernumeraries can also be classified according to shape. Supplementary, the shape of this tooth is the same or similar to the teeth that surround it. Conical, they are usually wide at the base and narrow at the tip. They are very similar to canines and have a root. Of note, this type of tooth is the most common. Tuberculate, this tooth is either barrel-shaped or tube-shaped. They have normal roots and rarely erupt. This type can delay the eruption of other teeth. Compound odontoma. This is a formation of different small teeth wrapped in a bag. These teeth do not erupt, but they can interfere with the eruption of normal teeth. Complex odontoma. The tooth is formed from a tissue similar to normal teeth, are irregular, and there are usually several, not just one. Molariform. The shape of this tooth is similar to premolars, they are fully rooted and usually erupt close to the molars. Hyperdontia does not have an apparent cause. However, theories propose that the development of supernumerary teeth is due to the hyperactivity of the dental lamina cells as the precursors of tooth formation, although it can also be related to hereditary syndromes, such as the following. Cleft lip slash palate. This condition is characterized by a cleft or opening in the roof of the palate and upper lip. Gardner syndrome. This genetic disorder can cause growth of the colon and skull and slash or cysts on the skin. Endocranial dysplasia. This condition is characterized by abnormal development of the clavicle and skull. Ferret's disease. This syndrome presents with skin rashes, pain in the stomach, pain in the feet and hands, and an inability to perspire. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This congenital condition causes loose joints, scoliosis, pain in the joints and muscles. Down Syndrome. This condition is associated with growth retardation, has very marked facial characteristics, and some intellectual disabilities. Ellis Van Creveld Syndrome. This syndrome is characterized by causing dwarfism in the extremities and fingers and toes. It is also associated with cardiac abnormalities. Nance Horan Syndrome. This syndrome involves the development of cataracts affecting long-term vision. Rubenstein Taby Syndrome. This syndrome is characterized by short stature, intellectual disability, and some facial features, as well as problems with the teeth, heart, and kidneys. Trichorhinophalangeal syndrome. This syndrome leads to bone and joint malformations, abnormalities of hair, teeth, and skin, as well as characteristic facial features. Trichorhinophalangeal syndrome. This syndrome leads to bone and joint malformations, abnormalities of hair, teeth, and skin, as well as characteristic facial features. Supernumerary teeth may develop singly or in multiples on either side of the jaws. 
Supernumerary teeth are asymptomatic, that is, they do not generate discomfort or pain. Supernumerary teeth may develop singly or in multiples on either side of the jaws. Supernumerary teeth are asymptomatic, that is, they do not generate discomfort or pain. One of the most common characteristics is the shape of these teeth. They are actually very similar to normal teeth, although the vast majority of supernumerary teeth have an atypical conical shape. These teeth can cause problems or diseases in the mouth, such as crowding or caries, due to the accumulation of plaque as a result of the dental malposition caused by the supernumerary. They can prevent the normal eruption of teeth, or in the worst case, complex or compound odontomas that can make the roots of the teeth to erupt. The most common treatment is extraction or removal of the tooth. However, extraction is also recommended when you have a genetic condition that predisposes the appearance of more teeth, have a genetic condition, cannot chew properly, feel pain or discomfort in the case of dental crowding, have difficulty performing adequate oral hygiene, feel uncomfortable or self-conscious about the way your extra teeth look. Thin affects your dental aesthetics. Extraction of supernumerary teeth is performed under local or general anesthesia, depending upon the location and development of the extra tooth. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.